Hello and welcome to Captain Goodspeed Maths. I'm Joe, if you're new around here, and today we cover the final topic in OCR FSMQ on the new spec, at least for now. Uh, if <laughs> There's a load of things in the exam paper that I'm not expecting there to be, then there will be more videos uh, for future years, but for this year at least, this is the last major topic that I think uh, should be covered. So, learn objective today is to understand properties of Venn diagrams, and you may well know a lot of these from GCSE. Anyway, so let's get into it. Uh, so at GCSE we came across Venn diagrams, or you did, I guess, uh, for situations with two or three different events which are independent, a Venn diagram can be used. So we've got our two little circles there. Uh, you all know what a Venn diagram looks like. Um, the overlap of the, the circles represent both events A and B occurring. Uh, everything within the rectangle is the universal set. The sum of all probabilities within the universal set is 1. So obviously you've got the probability of A, you've got the probability of B, you've got the probability of it being A and B, and the probability of it being neither. And all of those add up to 1. A useful relationship is the probability of A or B is equal to P of A plus P of B minus P of A and B. So um, basically what you're doing is, is you're shading in A, oops, <laughs> shaded part of B there but you get the idea. You shade in A and then you shade in B, so that's the probability of A plus the probability of B. But look, we've shaded this uh, middle section twice so we take that off. So we've got the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A and B. So uh, A's circle plus B's circle uh, minus uh, the, the bit in the middle. Uh, the complement of uh, an event A is its opposite, i.e. the probability of it not happening. So we denote that by probability of A dash, which equals 1 minus P of A. So if the probability of A happening is uh, 60%, then the uh, probability of A complement is 40%. You get the idea. So these Venn diagrams illustrate some events related to A and B. And there was a nice little diagram in the book, so I just took a picture of that and put that into the PowerPoint. Uh, so we can see uh, A and B is that intersection. We talked about that before. Uh, event A happening is this big circle here. Event B happening is this big circle here. So you can see that, that relationship before. We've got A plus B but look, we've got two of those, so we better take one off. Uh, a or B is the whole thing. Uh, a dash and B is just this little bit, because uh, remember, uh, this little bit includes uh, A happening, so we just want uh, the, the, the little bit of B there. A and B dash is just this little bit here. So if two events have no influence on each other, they are independent. So the probability of A and B is equal to the P of A times the P of B. That is just a, a rule that you have to, to know. So that, that means the intersection is equal to the product of A and B. Uh, if only one of the two events can occur, they, they are mutually exclusive. So um, uh, the P of A and B is zero. So this is where you'd have two uh, Venn diagrams and they're not touching each other at all. They, uh, they, um, only one of them can occur. So if uh, you know you don't have an intersection, so they are mutually exclusive. So the intersection is equal to zero, and that's what's illustrated by this little vi uh, Venn diagram up here. So let's do an example then. Shade on separate Venn diagrams the region that represent the following events. So we've got A dash and B dash, uh, A dash or B. Uh, so here you go, another uh, nice little diagram from the uh, book. So uh, A dash and B is basically A doesn't happen and B doesn't happen. So that means nothing inside this Venn diagram works, so it must be everything outside. So we shade in the outside, the universal set, I guess, uh, minus the probability of A and, and B and the intersection. Uh, A dash and B, uh, sorry, A dash or B is, uh, so A uh, doesn't happen, or B happens. So uh, we've got B happening, but that's not the only thing we're talking about. We're also talking about neither of them happening. All we want to know is that A doesn't happen. 
So there you go. And that is that. Uh, there were some probability examples in the book, but uh, you should be able to do those if you learn some of the formulas from uh, this video. Then uh, make sure you do learn them and take them into the exam. There's some worded questions, but uh, the ones that I've seen that I thought were interesting were the shaded ones, and I think that those are probably the ones that you want to take into the exam so if you found this video helpful then make sure you leave a like down below uh, if not then um, let me know down in the comments what I can do to make it a bit more clear this lesson and all the others are on the Google Drive and the link is in the individual videos for each of them I uh, just want to say thank you for all the support on all of the videos on this playlist and hopefully you found it helpful and uh, yeah please consider subscribing or whatever uh, if you have found it helpful and of course there is a Patreon for the channel as well uh, which you can find details on my main channel which is Captain Goodspeed and you can find that on the homepage but uh, other than that thank you very much for watching and of course very best of luck with your FSMQ.